Number 84. Heavy water, which is D2O, has a molar mass of 20.03 grams per mole, can be separated from ordinary water, which is H2O, which has a molar mass of 18.01 grams per mole, as a result of the difference in the relative rates of diffusion of the molecules in the gas phase. Calculate the relative rates of diffusion of H2O and D2O. Okie dokie. So, rates of diffusion. Basically, if I have a vessel, right, and here's my lovely drawing of an Erlenmeyer flask, right, let's just say that this is closed, you know, so that the gases can't go anywhere. Basically, the rate of diffusion is if you have two different uh, gases, in this case we do, we have H2O and we have D2O. And here they are, right, and let's just say that the blue is the D2O and the red is the H2O. Rate of diffusion, diffusion just basically means how fast are these compounds traveling um, in, a, in a vessel. So diffusion would basically be the rate in which these can travel throughout the vessel. That's all that we're talking about. How fast does the H2O travel throughout the vessel and then how fast the D2O travels throughout the vessel. That's all we're trying to find out, how fast they travel. Now, this rate of diffusion, or when you're talking about gases with rates, there's one specific formula that we're going to use. It's this formula right here. Now, it may look a little scary, but I promise you it is not. In order to get this correct, all we have to do is just list out our two gases. And when you're using this formula, you're always going to have two different gases. And they did tell us the two different gases. We have H2O, and it doesn't matter which one you label as A or B. So maybe I'll just say, okay, I have A and I have B. So maybe let's put, I don't know, let's put H2O on the top and B on the bottom. It does not matter whether you, which one you do, you will get the same answer at the end. Now they did tell us the molar mass of each one. So that we're going to have to, you know, put into play. Now all we have to do is just find out these relative rates of diffusion of H2O and D2O. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it a little bit specific for ourselves. So we have to find out that rate of A, rate of A which is H2O, divided by the rate of B, but we're now saying that that's D2O. And these rates are equal to the square root of mm, and mm stands for molar mass. And the tricky part of this is that they cross. So if you put D2O on the bottom, you're putting the molar mass of D2O on the top. So let's just write that down. So this would be D2O. And then if you put H2O on the top, the molar mass of H2O has to be on the bottom. Now, we don't know what this is. That's why we're looking for a relative rate. So we're looking for a ratio. So I'm going to just leave this as whatever this is, right? We could just basically call it H2O over D2O. Maybe I'll just say that we have R of H2O, R for rate, divided by... R of D2O. And this is now going to equal the square root of the molar masses. And they did tell us. They told us that the D2O molar mass was 20.03. So that one goes on the top, 20.03. And then the H2O1, they told us the mass was 18.01. So I put that on the bottom. Remember, the colors have to cross. And now all we're doing is we're just finding this out. So what maybe I can do is, I guess I could just copy this, right? And basically, I could plug this into my calculator in one shot. So let's see what I get. So the square root of 20.03 divided by the square root of 18.01. And I get roughly, uh, I see four sig figs for the molar masses, so I'll give four sig figs. 
1.055. Now remember, this, if we're talking about it in a ratio, I could put this number as a ratio by just saying this is over 1, right? And now it looks like the numerators go together and the denominators go together. Now, which one is the higher number? Yeah, 1.055 is higher than 1. So that means that the rate of H2O is 1.055 higher than the rate of D2O. And that's what you wanted to calculate. Calculate the relative rate. So once you have 1.005, that just means that the rate of H2O, we don't know what it is, but we just know the relative rate between the two. The rate of H2O is 1.055 times faster than the rate of D2O. And that makes sense because remember, the higher molar mass is always slower. The lower molar mass is always faster. So it makes sense that H2O should be a little bit more faster than D2O because it has a lower molar mass. And that's it, guys. So maybe if I just bring this over here. Oop, what happened there? Let's see. There we go. And if I just box this off, there you guys go with your answer. All right? So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. That will help us out. And yeah, I, I hope to see you in later lessons and I hope your day is going well. Take care. Bye-bye.